Silly Coin Hunter here. Today we're going to do episode 30 of Pocket Change for Kids. And actually, I got some nice coins. We're going to be doing some upgrades in, for the pennies. We got a nice wheat cent to put into the wheat cent book. Got to change the other day. So, I'm going to drop, pause this and drop it down. I do this now so I do not have to rotate the videos after I do a recording. I could just immediately go ahead and upload when I get done. So, you give me a second. For you all, it's going to be less than a second for me. It's going to be about a minute or two to get it set up properly. So, you just hold on tight. Okay. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you all can see better. So, well, I went through all the coins I got over the week. So, we got some nice color pennies. This is the wheat cent I was telling you about. It's a 55 Denver, I think. It's still a nice, some nice red luster on the front and back. So we're going to put that into the book. we got some upgrades going on. Maybe an addition or two for, uh, for the memorial sense. And this, I think, is an upgrade. Let me see what this one is. Yes, that's going to be an upgrade. In addition for those quarters, these are the state quarters with additions, and these are the two park quarters for additions. So, I'm going to start off with the National Park, because the way I got the book stacked up. <laughs> so, swing this out just a little bit so y'all can see the full book. Yeah. So, first one we got is Vicksburg. This will be in the filling minute side of, the, of this book. It features an ironclad from Union during the siege of Vicksburg. I've been to the park. I've hiked that park. It's a very nice park to go to. So, if you ever want to go to Mississippi, this would be a good place to go. Good history. A lot of battles were fought in the south. From where I'm from. I think Vicksburg fell first and a few days later was the end was Gettysburg battle or something like that. I don't remember. I have to go back and look. I used to know all this stuff off the top of my head. I'm just trying to push it in because it doesn't fall out. And then the other one's going to be a Denver Minute coin, I think. And this, I think, was one of those platinum plated coins because it's got some strange toning going on with it. So I think that's what this was. I think this was a platinum plated coin that got used and just came off. Or silver plated, I don't know which. This is a 2018 Denver. So like I said, this is a gift for kids. I'm really not looking anywhere about errors or anything like that on these coins, like I normally do in a roll hunt. So we're making pretty good progress on here. This is, uh, look at this already. Yeah, picture rocks. So that's going to be one buck out the way. Go around a couple coins. And then we have the states. We have, I think, three state quarters to do. So let's go ahead and open it up and just put those into the box. So the first one we're putting in so it's actually an upgrade to Oklahoma 2008. It's going to be on this last page here over here. Ooh. I tore it. And this is going to be the Philadelphia Mint. And 
Now actually, I want to look at that one. I think there's a known error on that one. So that one I'm going to look at. Now I got it out the box. I know there wasn't one on here because I already checked it. And the next one we got. Nebraska. I mean, Wisconsin 2004. I'm trying to find it right now. Let's see, 99, 2001, 2, 24. Should be right up in here. And I found it. It's also a Philly Minute coin. Then the last one's going to be Kentucky, 2001. And these, were, these were just all new coins to be added to the book. And it's also a Philly Minute coin. So the books come along real nice. This is all just me cashing in change at grocery stores, little side stores, whatever. Find, find the coins, going through them, searching them out. Getting ready for y'all so I can do, keep these videos kind of short as possible. This is a 1983 Philly. Now the mints on here, on these cores are real small. So you may want to get a magnifier, a five times or seven times magnifier so you can read the mints. This one I use my coin scope just to double check because the magnifier is a lot bigger. So I'm just going to put that one out the way. This is a 2000. This is a zinc code, zinc core copper coated. And this is a better D versus this one. So I'll show you all side by side. A little bit more luster all around everything. This got a little gray toning going on. On the high, on the high parts of the penny. So that's why that one's going out. So this is going to leave one book left. Oh, besides a wheat scent book. Tell you what. I'm going to do that one because that's a bigger book. 55 Denver. So all the time you get wheat scents in, handed to you. Especially nice ones that are red. So that's in the book. Now comes the fun part. We get to find out these Lincoln scents. I got some nice shiny ones. We got a new edition, 61 Denver. That was, I already got one of those set aside. 76 Denver. Uh, I don't like that. There we go. I'm not really OCD about these coins, how they go in. 73, this is what's called Jim BU. Got it handed to me in change. So, I decided to save it for this video. 73 Denver. See the difference in the luster? Now, you get these type of coins. That's where these come in. It's alright if you hold by the edges, but if you're going to be putting them into a book, you really want a pair of white cotton gloves. If you can't have these, rubber gloves would be fine. So make sure you're not allergic to them. Pain seems to be a little bit easier to put into this book than anything else. 78 Denver. 
See the difference? Now, what some people do, they buy mint sets. They cut out the mint sets and put those into the books. But sometimes it's more fun to find them like this. Eighty-one Denver, a little bit better shape. Once again, it's, see how it's kind of got a little grayish coloring going on at the top on the high high points. Somebody's fingers touch it there. These may do it eventually. Uh, you just never know. Then we have an 82D, a 77D. So that's going to be an upgrade in the book. Then we got the 82D Copper Large Date. Let me show y'all something because that's going to end up with this being the final part of the video. Now the ones I took out out of copper, I saved the copper. I'm going to put them into a bucket. Where's the damn new ball back? Oh, I'm trying to find something to show y'all. There we go. I've got two of these. One I'll end up selling. This is you got all seven pennies issued that year of 82. So you got all your Philadelphia large and small date copper, the Denver large date, then the rest is all zinc. So the twos are slightly different. So I just want to show you that's what you're looking for. Oh, this is, okay, that's the Philly Copper small date that we're looking for. Why do you do this different? I just know this is kind of messed up different. Copper large. Copper small date. Philly. This will be this coin. I messed up. No, I messed up. Oh God, let's put the penny in the wrong spot. So for right now, until I get another one, so I, I, I can dig one up and put and replace that one in here. I may have one around floating around. That's where that one goes. I put the wrong one in the wrong spot. So see, this got all your your all your fillies are at the top here. Copper, large, small, zinc, large, small. Dates. And you got your Denver, large date copper. Then the zinc, then the zinc, small large dates. My other book's different, so he changed it up somehow. In my main book. This is the book I'm using for. Mm, so that's going to conclude this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the bell on for future notifications. 
I think there's something wrong. It's telling me it's set for kid mode, but it's not. I keep checking it. So, just watch for f future videos. Uh, I do two or three a week, uh, sometimes four. Right now, I'm working on some nickel errors. That I've, so, that's for another video. So, this is Pucker Change episode number 30. Y'all have a good evening and see y'all next weekend.